After watching Code Parade's video where you focus sound into a laser like beam, I knew I had to build it myself. If you want to learn more how it works, check out Code Parade's video, but basically an audio waveform gets modulated to 40 kilohertz through a 555 timer, which then gets amplified and is sent out to this transducer array. Now, 40 kilohertz is outside of the audible human range, which means we can't hear it until it hits something. When the sound waves hit an object, instantly the audio demodulates into our ears, it seems like the sound is coming from that object. It's kind of insane. The only downside is that the camera microphones can't really pick up the effect that well. But anyway, here's how I built it. I tried to design my own circuit that would oscillate at 40 kilohertz, but after plugging in an old phone and turning on the battery, nothing happened. So I thought, why reinvent the wheel? I'll just use the same circuit that Code Parade used in his video. After putting all the components together, I powered it up and it was making a strange hissing sound. I thought I might have fried something, but it turned out the capacitors just needed a little bit of tuning, and later that night, I got it working. The next day, I tinkered with the circuit some more, and I eventually made it work over Bluetooth, though it's super quiet right now and the microphone can't really pick it up. Overall though, I was happy with how it was working, so I finalized all the components onto a perf board. Putting the transducers in was kind of tricky, but I just pushed them through the holes and then used some thin aluminum wire to connect them all in parallel. If you're going to try to build this, here's the 555 timer circuit that Code Parade used in his video, and the full circuit that I used later on in the build. And here's the first test, but the microphone doesn't really pick it up that well. Unfortunately, the audio is super quiet and the Bluetooth module that I used was super cheap, so while trying to push as much current through it as possible, I ended up frying the board. I upgraded to a heavier duty Bluetooth audio module and that fixed the problem quickly. Using an old cutting board really shows how the audio almost acts like a laser. Next I started to design a 3D printed enclosure. I probably could have spent more time on this, and it ended up being a problem later in the build. Because I was lazy when I was designing the 3D printed enclosure, I had to add holes for the switches and LEDs. To do this, I just used an old soldering iron, and poked a hole, and then just pushed the component through. Then I started to put all the components into the 3D printed enclosure and solder everything together. To prevent the components from shorting out, I just wrapped the bottoms in electrical tape, which you can't see here. To mount the transducers, I just used some nylon standoffs and bolts. Once this was done, the top part was done, and I really liked the look of it. I had a weird problem where when I grounded the audio module, it introduced a lot of hissing noise into the sound, and to solve this, I just used a small 1K resistor. Normally I hate using hot glue because it reminds me of life hack videos, but in this project I just used the hot glue to hold the switches and plugs in. I screwed the top cover on with some old servo screws, and then I used some metal straps to bolt the handle to the top of the gun. And here it is all completed. The first switch boots everything up and you can connect your phone over the Bluetooth module. The right switch causes the audio to play constantly. If you don't want that, you can just press the trigger on the bottom to play the audio whenever you press the trigger. Now here's some random clips of me using the gun. 
I really like how you can barely hear the audio outside of the narrow beam. Hearing the audio demodulate across the walls sounds pretty cool, and it's really weird because you're holding the source in your hands. I thought this was a really cool project, and it was fun to build, and I really want to thank Code Parade again for coming up with the original idea. If you want to build this, I'm going to be honest with you, it was pretty difficult. A lot of things can go wrong, it's definitely not a project for beginners, but the end result is pretty cool, so I'll never tell you not to try. Thanks for watching my video to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.